Hi and welcome to TechBirdie. Today we will get through the steps in creating and configuring site-to-site -site VPN. We will use Cisco RV042 routers in this demonstration. These are small business routers from Cisco and these routers are located on different geographical locations. Let's switch to our router number one. Here we will provide the credentials to log in. Click VPN from the menu on the left. Here on the right side you can see the already configured VPN connections. To create a new one, click Add. From this screen we will create a gateway to gateway VPN connection which is also called a site to site VPN. Click Add here. Here are the configurations which we will mention to create a gateway to gateway VPN. Here we will provide the tunnel name on router number one. Let's say it is tunnel one. In interface we will select the WAN interface on which we want to configure our VPN. RV042 routers provide you with two WAN interfaces. I will select WAN1. Next section is local group setup. Here we will provide the network information of router 1. Local security gateway type IP only is good to go. You can explore the other options also. IP address that is the IP address of the WAN interface which we have selected above. Now local security group type we have plenty of options here. For example we can mention the IP range, a single IP or a complete subnet. We will choose IP range from here. For the IP range we will provide the beginning IP. Let's say it is 192.168.2.1 and the last IP we will provide 192.168.2.254 this is the IP range from our local network next section is remote group setup here we will provide the information regarding the remote network to which we want to configure our VPN. Remote security gateway type. IP only is good to go. In IP address, we will mention the IP address of the WAN interface of remote router, which is also a Cisco RV042 router. Here we mention the IP. Now, remote security group type, we will select again that the remote network is we can provide a IP range, a single IP address, or a complete subnet. Here we will provide the subnet which is 192.168.3.0 in the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 is good to go. Next section is IPsec setup. Now here are all the configuration which are related to securing our communication between the location 1 and location 2 we will do all these steps to safeguarding our data in keying mode we will choose ike which is internet key exchange protocol with pre-shared key this is used to create a secret for our shared session there is another option which is manual where we can choose our manual settings or we can define our secret manually but we will go with IKE with pre-shared key. Next is phase 1 DH group. In Cisco RV042, the securing process with the IPsec completes in two phases, phase 1 and phase 2. For phase 1 settings, phase 1 DH group. DH stands for defi helman method. Basically, it's a key exchange method which we use on the public channel. We will choose group 2 that is 1024 bit. It's more secure than the group 1. For encryption, we will choose 3DS. 
which is triple data encryption standard or we also call it data encryption algorithm for the authentication we will choose SHA1 which is more secure than MD5 for security association lifetime leave the value as default it is the time till what security keys are valid after that time the keys will be changed automatically for security association lifetime we will leave the value as default it is the time for which security keys are valid after that time keys will be regenerated automatically by checking perfect forward secrecy we will ensure that the system will generate unique keys for the future use with the phase 2 of IPsec setup for phase 2 we will select the same values as that of phase 1 but these settings can be different from phase 1 values depending upon our needs so let's select the phase 2 values for DH group we will choose group 2 for encryption 3DS for authentication SHA1 as a lifetime we will leave as default now here we will choose appreciate key that will be used for communication on the public channel let's say root uh, 1 key 1 make sure that uh, the key should contain the capital letters small letters and alphanumeric characters there are some advanced options available which we will cover in another video for this demonstration our settings are enough now click save okay now our tunnel for the router one is all ready now we will configure the router on the remote geographical location that router is also a Cisco RB042 router so, so let's switch to that provide the credentials for the username login here we will select the VPN from the menu on the left we will follow the same step as we have already done in the router 1 configuration click add choose gateway to gateway click add again here we will provide the tunnel name it is tunnel 2 now we will choose the interface on which we want to configure our VPN let's we will choose ban 1 for local group setup IP only is good IP is all automatically selected of the WAN1 interface local security subnet subnet is good to go these settings the local group setup should match with the settings of remote group setup from the router one now for remote group setup we will choose IP only and for the IP address we will mention the IP address of router one WAN interface which is this a remote security group type remember we had chosen the IP range for the local group of router 1 so we will choose IP range here also let's say it is 192.168.2.1 and the ending IP is 192.168.2.25 for securing our, our tunnel the IPsec setup we will choose the same setting as we have already chosen in the router 1 configuration we will go with IKE with pre-shared key DH group we will choose group 2 for encryption 3DES for authentication SHA1 as a lifetime will be remain default for phase 2 Again, group 2 for encryption in phase 2, 3DES, SHA1, SA lifetime will be the same. Here we will provide the same key which we have already provided in router 1 configuration, which was router 1 
21. It should be the same. Now click save. Click OK. Now click summary. Here is our tunnel 2 in remote router. Click connect here. You can see here it is now connected. You can see the status. It is connected in router 2. In router 1, it is also showing connected. Hope you like this demonstration. Visit www.techbirdy.com for more useful videos. Take care and bye for now.